The company has been working with the coal supplier for the last nine months to armour 110 locomotives after several incidents in the past in the area. At the moment we are manufacturing kits that's uh, protecting the cab. So it's uh, a combination between armour plate and glass, uh, which we install in a single shift to minimise the bound time. Uh, there is scope for later on adding uh, protection to the rest of the loco. The trains are a developing business. This operation started out armour plating private vehicles in South Africa and the rest of the continent. It's their main business line. We focus on uh, corporate customers that's got requirements to protect their personnel. Uh, there is private individuals as well, but corporate customers into Africa, uh, new um, explorations, especially in the mining industry is a, a big part of our uh, uh, future business or we we're focusing on market, market, uh, marketing at the moment. The South African crime rate has also been a key driver for the growth of the business. Looking very, very specific at the, the farming industry now, um, the farmers are being attacked viciously, they have no protection moving from their farms into towns or into safe areas. So it's a very, very big growing market. Private individuals, kidnapping is on the rise, kidnapping of children out of motor vehicles is on the rise. Business opportunities in neighbouring countries are also growing now. Cross-border activity, massive. Um, once you leave the major centres in Africa, we've got a serious problem with specifically assault rifle weapons. Very few handgun problems, but a very big assault rifle problem. AK-47s are like sweets in Africa. The rebel children, 14, 15-year-olds, are carrying AK-47s. It's a very, very real threat, and they shoot for no reason. While the focus on the African continent is about providing infrastructure, there's also a very important need, and that's to protect the operators of that infrastructure when they're on the job. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Pretoria, South Africa.